You know, I remember going on field trips when I was little. My school was very into like fancy activities. We went to a lot of museums. And I remember seeing these like 10 foot high paintings and gold frames with kings and gods and soldiers and beautiful women in big shiny dresses. Oh, I love the dresses. I used to say I wanted to be a duchess when I grew up. And it took me until I was maybe eight or nine to realize none of the women in the paintings looked like me. And there were like ships and churches and fruit, a lot of fruit, but never the people who sewed the dresses or picked the fruit. I know. It's messed up. Yes, it is. But then our textbook, the book you edited, it's the exact same thing. Soldiers, statesmen, women in big shiny dresses, and bunches and bunches and bunches of white men as if that's all there was in this country. It's a book about inner political workings. It's not a general history. But it stinks. I get it. Believe me. I hate it. Okay, then change it. I, hello? You have power. Let me do the kind of history I want to do. I'm afraid that I can't simply do that. Let's say you decide to apply to graduate school. I'm not applying to graduate school. But if you did, a good grade from me is a signal to my colleagues, this young woman has all the skills you're looking for in a historian. But by the standards of academia, your current work is unsophisticated. Unsophisticated. You have potential, a great deal of it. Maybe you should think about graduate school. The field could use people like you, people pushing, demanding modernization. But if you want to change how people do things, it helps if you're the best. I have gotten to do what I want in my career because I have worked to be twice as good as anybody else. Find the sources, get the rock solid evidence, check every comma, prove me wrong.